But I'm going to end this lesson with a story from Eric Carle called Mr. Seahorse. And I'm sure you've heard stories by Eric Carle before, like The Hungry Caterpillar. Um, and you might have even read this one before. But good books are like good friends. We keep going back to them. The reason why, one of the reasons why I love this book is because it has some cool pages in it that show these sea animals using their camouflage. So remember, camouflage is when um, animals can use the colors that they have on their bodies to blend in with their environment. And we're going to see some examples of that um, with these sea animals. So here we go. Mr. Seahorse. Okay, let me make sure that you guys can see the book here. Oh, I want to hold it this way. Okay. Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea. Mrs. Seahorse began to wiggle and twist this way and that. It's time for me to lay my eggs, she said. Can I help? asked Mr. Seahorse. Oh, yes, thank you, said Mrs. Seahorse. And she laid her eggs into a pouch on Mr. Seahorse's belly. I'll take good care of our eggs, said Mr. Seahorse. I promise. So this is funny. Uh, a male seahorse, a dad seahorse, is kind of like a kangaroo. He has a pouch on his belly to take care of those babies. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a group of trumpet fish hidden in a patch of reeds. Okay, now can you see the trumpet fish? Because they're hidden, they have camouflage on them to look like pieces of seagrass. But if you take the seagrass away, this overlay page they have, you can see the trumpet fish. I think that's pretty cool. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Stickleback? asked Mr. Seahorse. Delighted, replied Mr. Stickleback. I just built a nest and right away Mrs. Stickleback laid her eggs into it. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. Keep up the good work, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a lionfish hidden behind a coral reef. Do you see the lionfish? Using his camouflage. If you take the coral reef away, there he is. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Tilapia? asked Mr. Seahorse. Mr. Tilapia couldn't answer. His mouth was full of eggs. I know, I know, said Mr. Seahorse. Mrs. Tilapia laid her eggs. Now you are taking good care of them until they hatch. Mr. Tilapia nodded his head. You must be very happy, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by several leaf fish hidden among the seaweed. There's the seaweed. You take the seaweed away. There are the leaf fish. Pretty good camouflage. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Curtis? asked Mr. Seahorse. Perfectly fine, replied Mr. Curtis. Mrs. Curtis laid her eggs, and I have stuck them on my head. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. You are doing a good job, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. This is my favorite page, because I think it's so funny that Mr. Curtis sticks his eggs on his head to take care of them. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a stonefish hidden behind a rock. So let's see, take a look at that page. Do you see the stonefish? He really does look just like a giant rock. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Pipe? asked Mr. Seahorse. Couldn't be better, replied Mr. Pipe. Mrs. Pipe laid her eggs along my belly. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. You should feel proud of yourself, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Bullhead? asked Mr. Seahorse. Tip-top, replied Mr. Bullhead. 
Mrs. Bullhead laid her eggs in the eggs hatched. Now I'm babysitting. You are doing a fine job, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. The time had come for the seahorse babies to be born. Mr. Seahorse wiggled and twisted this way and that. At last, the babies tumbled from Mr. Seahorse's pouch and swam away. One baby turned around and tried to come back into the pouch. Oh, no, said Mr. Seahorse. I do love you, but now you are ready to be on your own. And that is the end of Mr. Seahorse. So you guys have a wonderful week, and I will see you on my video next week. Take care.